Hello everybody, Grizzly Pig here. Welcome to today's episode. We are in the First Descendant and today I am going to show you my Enduring Legacy build. This is one of the favourite weapons of mine in the game currently and it is crazy damage if you build it right and I'm going to show you how I build mine. Let me know what you think about this. You don't have to build yours this way. I discuss this in the comments. What? How do you guys build this? Let me know if this helps you or anything like that. So like I do in all my videos where we talk about uh, how we get weapons and descendants, for example, I have got you guys a nice little graphic. Feel free to screen grab this if you like. You can see I've got some checkboxes on the right there for you to check for all the parts because you need to grind this weapon five times to get the max uh, out of this gun that you can. So when I got this gun uh, a couple of weeks ago, I pretty doubtful that I went for the Frostwalker, but now in the current meta, Frostwalker is much easier to defeat. Uh, not only because there are a lot more skill epics about in the uh, in the game, but also because they have actually nerfed that. So this is tailored to the current meta here now. There are plenty of places to get these blueprints. Um, so this isn't necessarily uh, the, the best things to, or the only way to get these uh, parts here but this is what I recommend you go for so hopefully this helps you out guys I'm going to leave it at the end of the video for you as well so let's move on so first of all let's just have a look at the unique abilities on this weapon to understand why I'm going to be building it the way I am so basically what you have to look at is when we attack an enemy it's going to apply this debuff to the enemy which is called quenching, which reduces fire resistance of an enemy when we hit them and it's a stacking thing, it stacks up to 50 times. So it's really amazing at single target damage. So bossing, uh, elites, stuff like that. But it's also really good for mobbing as well if you need, especially with Lepic. I'm gonna include uh, talking about Lepic with this as well because I use this gun mainly on Lepic, but uh, that'll be a side thing, but uh, we'll just go over that as well. Also, on hitting an enemy afflicted with burn, our firearm attack is increased by 11%. Okay, so this is all gonna tie in with each other. It's gonna be self-proliferating because basically the higher our fire attack as well, the more fire damage we're gonna do. So it's all really nicely synergized here. So let's go and have a look and see the base stats of the weapon now. So nothing remarkable going on with the uh, crit rate. It is a machine gun, let's not forget, but it's got crazy critical hit damage at 2.3% as base. So we've got to try and build on that if we can. The weak point damage is a uh, one time scaling. Nothing remarkable there. So something to think about when you're building this. Our rounds are 115. What we're going to do with this build is we're going to keep it as a slow fire weapon and that again is partly due to it being because I'm using it on Lepic but don't be afraid to use a slow fire weapon because at the end of the day you've only got so many module spaces and if you can increase the damage by putting a damage module on versus a fire rate module on for example or magazine size or anything like that there's different things you can do to increase the damage apart from just these these one obvious these obvious things that a lot of people do so let's go and have a look at the the, the well actually we'll look at the base uh, my substats first on here so you can see we're going for fire attack i all sorry firearm attack at the bottom there at 12 percent. i always go for this where i can and i also always go for firearm critical hit rate these are not compromisable uh, also you can see there we got firearm attack versus colossus ideally i would instead put crit damage but it's not the end of the world because this gun is so good against bosses anyway that uh, i'm not going to swap that out i'm going to keep that now and you'll also notice that we have fire attack on there as well that is really important for my build and i'll show you why when we get to the module so Let's have a look at that now. This is the, the main piece here. So uh, the modules, let's just go over the basics. So I always go with fire rate up as a base just because it's such great value, this module here. Uh, we've got rifling reinforcement for firearm attack and action and reaction. These three I pretty much always put on most of my weapons as well as better concentration, another one that everyone will be familiar with, better insight. So there you go. You could say that they're the, the five 
uh, basic ones that most people will be using are generally going to be the best for uh, pretty much most gun builds. So what you'll notice as well is we've got uh, concentrated priority there. That's like a, a, an optional, there are different ones you can choose here, but this one is a, a great option. So it basically increases our fire, firearm critical hit damage. And don't forget this gun scales really well with critical hit damage already. So it's an amazing module for this gun. Next up, we're going to see that we have fire enhancement. So do you remember what we said about this gun uh, giving us more firearm attack? Well, this module adds fire attack equal to 30% of our firearm attack. So if we can increase our firearm attack, we're going to do more and more fire damage. And also when we do fire damage, we're going to be applying burn. And that is also synergizing really well with this gun as well. So really important, I think, to have fire enhancement on Enduring Legacy. And also we have superheated gun barrel. So it's further going to increase our fire damage from the fire enhancement there but it reduces our fire rate but that's not a problem it's a huge increase in in damage it not only increases the damage of our fire enhancement module but it also increases the damage of our fire attack substat as well so important to note that so we're getting double value from this i wouldn't use heated gun barrel i wouldn't use gun barrels at all generally unless you've got an elemental substat on your your weapon because you're not getting such great value out of it otherwise so think about it before you use your gun barrel because it does reduce your fire rate next up we're looking here at we have got weak point damage plus 35 percent uh, this is again because it's such a great single target weapon we're going to be going for weak points on bosses or elites or whatever they're quite easy to hit so although we only have one time scaling there's not really many other better modules for this than, than this module here but you could put on uh, increase your your round capacity for example if you wanted to let me know what you guys think about that that's definitely an optional weak point damage now this module is a bit unusual a lot of people do use this though so it's not it's not that uh, far-fetched but uh, basically when we hit weak points we're going to be ramping up our firearm attack so remember again coming back to increasing our fire damage here the more firearm attack we have the more fire damage we're going to do this is going to cause us to be hitting like crazy once we we get this ramped up to the max it really is a really great module for this here a little extra nice bonus on top of our damage it is really beautiful so that's basically the build here if you look on the left hand side we have 564,000 DPS yeah it's very nice but we could probably get more in the region of 750 if we just went for a conventional or oh, let's just go for pure modules that are going to show damage but I don't think that's the way with this gun um, I think that this is the this is my favorite way to build it let's just say that okay because um, how you build a weapon there, there's there's no there's no one true way to build it. There's there's more than one way of skinning the cat. Let's say uh, this is this is my build. I'm going to show you guys what this damage is like at the end of the vid video. You can take a look there, or you can just try it out yourself. But um, yeah, the superheated gun barrel and the fire enhancement, yeah, they're, they're great for this. I really love it. Um, so that's basically the modules there. So let's uh, see what else we can do to increase our DPS. So. What we have on Lepic here particularly, I'm going to go over this very briefly. Um, excuse the build on here, we are playing during uh, the game before the patch where they allow us to uh, uniquely upgrade modules within certain presets and I have Ultimate Lepic here who is built uh, tweaked perfectly for a boss melting build so this is basically um, fine-tuned for that but in my main build that I would use for dungeons and such um, I, there's no way of me putting all the modules on because it's just really uh, scuffed because of that. But you can see here we've got the, the main culprits here, increased defense, increased HP. I think they are fundamental. You should really go for those if you can. Skill extension to reduce our skill duration here. And nimble fingers, skill cooldown. And we also have skill cooldown again in time distribution. And we get a bit more HP out of that as well. And now you notice we're not actually going for skill power. Now the reason this is, is because 
a little secret here we're not going to be doing damage with our skills so I'll show you why we have got power unit change so our overclock which is our number two this is our transcendent module here that is basically changing this ability it no longer increases skill power it increases our firearm attack instead beautiful it's something like 52 percent increased firearm attack when you pop this it's crazy it is absolutely amazing so get this this is going to increase our fire damage as well so it's a double whammy you can increase the base damage of your weapon as well as that fire damage yeah i say no more i'm just just yeah the more fire firearm attack you have on this build the better get it wherever you can and also uh we, we've got a grenade here but really as we're not doing any damage with our abilities we're really trying to get this in every time we're reloading so that's why we're going for skill cooldown and duration because when our magazine runs out 115 shots is fired effectively um, where on other characters you might want to on Valby for instance with her uh, water you put on the floor you're trying to make two ends meet that's to say that you're trying to get her skill duration up to the max and then when you've got it as far as you can you then bring your skill duration uh, your skill cooldown down so that you can then cast it instantly again afterwards but with this there's an added thing thrown in there it is that we have the gun capacity size so we're trying to also factor that in as well so basically we're building this so that when we reload when we cancel the animation at the end of the reload we fire this off power unit change and then we start firing and we've got that extra firearm damage there for the first uh, two-thirds of the clip whatever it is there and it's it's beautiful so then also our number three is not a damage ability but it is really nice uh, for any gun with uh, lepic because you just gather up all the mobs and the harder you hit with a single target gun the quicker you're going to melt all of the mobs that are in the uh, traction grenade there uh, but also i use greg's reverse fate and it's really crazy for that as well so yeah it's a, a, a great move but anyway we're not really going to be using our ult we're not really going to be using our grenade so much it's all about the gun you'll also notice here in lepix build that we have accelerated drive shaft you'll be surprised how much value you can get out of this module i was skeptical when i first put it on because 15 percent chance to up your fire rate by 20 percent for five seconds uh, doesn't sound that great but I tell you what if you build in to this and play around this and whenever you're moving just dodge where you can or whatever whenever you're not fighting because it happens plenty I mean let's be honest when you're when, when you're doing bosses when you're in dungeons or whatever you're not always just constantly firing so when you can dodge dodge and when you see that little buff come up on the on the left of your character there and you've got it just fire <laughs> It is crazy you you fire really fast so that's really nice so i always like to have this where i can now but when they put the patch in that allows me to fix this whole build here i'm going to be putting in some um other modules let's have a look at what i'm going to go there are there are some that i think are pretty op and underrated here so hp collector is really good for survivability i'm going to be putting that in walk a tightrope when hp is below 50 percent or when sorry when hp is 50 percent or lower skill power and firearm basically go up so again we're not worried about the skill power firearm attack plus 19.3 so i'm going to put this on as soon as i can when they bring out that patch but that's situational because that's when you're 50 percent hp or lower but if you look at uh, lepix passive uh, we are getting basically a uh, a cheat death um, so it's, it's quite good for Lepic to be honest with you and then we're going to go for a Stim Accelerant and uh, Battle of Stamina probably as well extra HP extra defense you can't argue with that so that, that's it I don't want to talk about that anymore that's just specifically for Lepic let's move on to uh, Reactor quickly nothing matters with the Reactor apart from your subs so you really want to have skill cost is a really great one or skill cooldown um, is another good one but also skill duration so that's basically going to help me keep my two up on lepic so that i can keep my firearm uh, attack up as much as possible 
Uh, so you don't need to worry about the uh, the mounting. You don't need to worry about fire or tech skill boost ratio, particularly because the only time you're going to get value from those is when you throw a new grenade. So that, that's it. It's it's not important. Just just take any module you can find that's got the best subs for what we're trying to do here with the number two. Um, next, we're going to have a look at our components. Now, uh, amazing set. I really love this veteran marksman set. So basically, you can see that on the two set and the four set, it's all about gun damage, firearm critical hit rate on the two there, plus five point one percent. And then if we go into the four set, firearm attack plus six point six percent. Yeah, great. That's what we want. Weak point damage plus five point eight. Beautiful set. Love it. Absolutely great. And if you want to go and farm this, uh, the best place to go and get this set is. Um, it is at a yeah here we are I think it's this one here mountain tops vulgus strategic outpost on hard uh, uh, spawn in there and go and and uh, and shoot that up and get the set drop there just camp it for an hour you should be able to get a full set pretty easily uh, let's have a look just to make sure I'm getting that right so uh, you can you can search uh, all of the the module sets now including the purple ones here in the info uh, wiki page here in the game so i'm just going to type in marks and you can see here that if i press f it shows you all the places you can get it i have tried eye of truth on hard but it's uh, you're only getting it dropped from the last boss it takes forever so i would just go to hard where is it it is here somewhere mountain top there we go and it, it takes us there so there you go don't take my word for it that the wiki has just taken me straight there that's where I farmed my my set of that so uh, really good set um, the Slayer is also a good set but it's situational because you have to be below 50% before that uh, firearm attack even starts to kick in ramping up okay and it's only when you're on like one HP that you get the best bang for buck uh, from that um, so that's basically it that's I've pretty much covered everything although I am going to also look at another weapon here that is going to really help us as well in bosses particularly I wouldn't worry about this in dungeons I would just take a uh, special rounds weapon for example now that uh, Greg's reverse fate is being heavily used you can slot that if you want to or clairvoyance whatever you like I don't know your naestras uh, but um, Let's have a look at this, and the reason we're looking at this is because this is going to help us uh, get more general rounds, because this is a machine gun, we want lots of general rounds, so we are basically uh, max general round 60% here on this module, uh, max general rounds again on this module, it's, uh, and then we can basically get our, um, our size of how, how much general rounds we can carry to over about 850, something like that. Uh, so that's really nice. So basically when you loot ammo, uh, get this gun out. And the reason I'm using the Albion Cavalry gun is just because we've got two slots that work nice for the modules here as well. But it's not necessary. It's just the ones that works nice for weapon chain speed is so that once we're done getting our ammo, we can swap back into our main weapon a lot quicker. It's a minor thing. It's not a must, but it is, it's nice to have. Also, we're using better weapon weight. Weapon chain speed, again, 25%. So... That's, that's nice as well and I, I should max this out really but I just haven't really had the heart to spend the money on getting the um, the extra defense out of this so when we change weapons we increase our defense and I believe it goes up to 126 percent at max uh, so this is actually a survival module so what you can do is if you're getting overwhelmed especially in the waves or whatever um, you can swap to this weapon and then straight back again you'll get a instant 126 percent defense or 111 percent in my case just for changing weapons there so that's that's really nice and then what's really important is you can use this one if you want to but you don't have to there there are different varieties of this when acquiring drops in impact rounds change to one general round for every 0.25 rounds so basically when we pick up general uh, when we pick up impact rounds we're turning them into general rounds it allows us to basically um, min max on uh, the how much ammo we can get general rounds in in a boss fight for example if general rounds don't drop the impact rounds do because that sometimes does happen and they are the next most likely to drop 
uh, we can get them and turn them into to general rounds. So uh, being as though we're basically doing our damage with our gun only, that's quite an important one to have. Uh, you can have also, uh, let's just uh, type in refining here. There are other ones you can have uh, acquiring special rounds. And uh, yeah, that's it. They're, they're the two you can have special, special rounds and impact rounds. So I, I, I think that this is the best one impact rounds just because they drop more readily than special rounds. So yeah, that, that's it. So the only reason I'm covering this weapon is just because it really uh, gives value to your main general rounds weapon, whatever it is, whether it's Enduring Legacy or anything else. I always take my sniper there, not going to go into that, piercing light, I made a video on it, you can see the build there and the, the, the subs, I'm not going to go into that. But that's about it now guys, so um, yeah, thanks for watching, I really appreciate all your support, if you found this useful then please like, subscribe and leave a comment, I really do appreciate it and I'm going to catch you next time, I'm just going to leave you with some footage of Enduring Legacy in action. Takes over